Good morning. This morning, let us look at Proverbs chapter 25, verses 21 and 22. And I am smiling brightly, and you'll understand why shortly or laughing. <laughs> anyway, this is what it says in the New King James Version. If your enemy is hungry, give him bread to eat. And if he is thirsty, give him water to drink. For so you will heap coals of fire on his head, and the Lord will reward you. Now, I'm laughing because I remember when I was a young Christian and I first read this scripture, I loved it. And I obeyed it with all my heart, or so I thought. I didn't obey in the correct, with the correct mindset. I obeyed it because of 22. It says, when you give your enemies something to drink and something to eat, you will heat coals of fire on their head. I was imagining, like, not literal coals of fire, of course, but I was imagining the fire of God burning them up. I was imagining something bad coming upon them. That's how I interpreted this scripture. And then one day I was talking to my pastor in Boston and you know, this scripture came up and I so fluently said it and I gave the interpretation and he looked at me like, who are you? <laughs> I said, what happened? And then he shared with me the correct interpretation of this. He said, no, Deborah, it is not that God is waiting there to burn at your enemies. He wants your enemies to change. He wants you to do good even to persons that does bad to you so that they will see the light of God in you, the goodness in you, and then they will be motivated to change. So the fire, heaping coals of fire on the head is, yes, is the fire of God, but not to burn them up and punish them, but to burn out the wicked and the evil and the envious behavior out of their lives. Oh my, when he told me that, I totally got it. But it was like, I was so ashamed that for so many years, I thought, yeah, if they do me bad, yeah, I gotta treat them good. And I did it, I treated people well, and I went out of my way and I made sure that I was good to people who weren't good to me and so on, but it was with the wrong motive, <laughs> yeah. So we can obey the word of God, but we have to obey it with the correct motive. And the last part says, and the Lord will reward you. So no matter what people may do against you, be good to them and be good to them with the heart and the intent that you want God to change them, to transform them, and trust God to reward you with whatever it is you need. I'm so glad that I got the correct understanding and revelation and illumination of this scripture. I thank God because I could have continued a life being good to people with the wrong motive and the wrong mindset, and I would have missed out on the reward. I would have been no wiser, okay? God bless you so much. It's funny now, but it's, it's really serious. But I liked, I laugh at myself, you know, um, a lot. But I thank God for the revelation, and I pray that you get the revelation as well and that it would help you as you interact and deal with difficult people in your lives. Have a good day.